Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com here and welcome to day three, video three of 2014. And today we're going to use Adobe Illustrator to make a logo pop. So if you've never heard of this before, then you probably haven't had too many clients. Uh, I've had a lot of logo design clients and a certain small percentage will say something along the lines that it just needs to pop more. So we're going to go ahead and do that in Adobe Illustrator CC. And you'll find that it's just very simple. Uh, there's a series of strokes and offset paths. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. But first, as always, visit designcourse.com if you haven't already. Put in your email. And also, if you want the project files, the link is in the description. All right, I'll see you then. Let's go to File New. And I'm going to leave the width and height at 800 by 600. You can use whatever fills your screen. You may have to play around with that. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and hit OK. And we're at 96. Uh, hitting Control 1 will give you the 100% view automatically. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to use the Type tool. And I'm going to left click once. And I'm going to just put Design Course. Now you can use whatever uh, letters you want. It will work just the same. Uh, so I'm going to scale this up by holding shift and then I'm going to go to the character. I'm going to use a free font. It's called Rasputin. I'll link that in the description. And I'm going to use Demi Bold. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead to Effect and Warp and then Arch. So that gives us the Warp options. and. Basically, I'm going to leave it right around here. We got 20% for the bend, uh, and then a horizontal. As you can see, if you adjust this, it changes the, the perspective just a little bit. So I'm going to leave this around negative 26 and vertical at zero. Hit OK. And now what I want to do is go ahead and hit Control Shift O, and that basically just converts it to outlines. And then what I want to do is go ahead and go to Object Expand appearance. So what that does is we no longer can edit that warp. Uh, so it just basically converts it to uh, outlines there. Alright, so uh, now what I want to do is take this and hit Control C and then Control F and we'll go here to our layers and drop this down and the top one we want to make this this color right over there. Just an orange. It doesn't have to be specific. And then we have the bottom one, which we'll select beneath it. I'm going to hit Control H to get rid of the outlines. Now, what I'm going to do is go to Object, Path, and then Offset Path. Now, that brings up the Offset Path dialog. Um, if you hit Preview, you can kind of see what it gives us off the bat. Uh, I think this is fine uh, as it is. So I'm just going to hit OK. And then what I want to do is take this top portion. We're going to control C and then control F. And so now we have two copies of that. Now what we want to do is switch to the pen tool. And we're going to try to get an arc that goes right through the center. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to hit control H to bring back our view of the points. And we're just going to left click and drag out to right around there. And then I'm just going to go up to the top and end it back to where we began. So then I'm going to take our move tool. I'm going to select and hold shift and select both of these and just move them down real quick. And then I'm going to take this top. I'm going to go to object, path, divide objects below. All right. So what that does is take that, that top path that we created and it basically intersected this type. So what we want to do now is take the direct selection tool and then only get the bottom portion and hit delete twice. And so we're going to do this with the rest of the letters. You want to make sure you don't get the top portion. And finally right there. All right, so now what we want to do is take the move tool. We're going to move it right back up and try to center that right on top just like that. So now what we want to do is make this a lighter color. So we can uh, go over here to gradient and we'll try something like this. 
See how that works, okay? And what I also want to do is basically add an outline. Basically this same color right here, I want to add as an outline across all of here. So basically what we want to do is hit Control-1 again. We'll take this layer, hit Control-H to get rid of the views. And now I want to go to add a stroke. And we'll try two pixels. And you can see it automatically adds a black stroke. So we'll select the stroke over here and we'll make it the same color as that, uh, the, the text beneath it. So then what we want to do is go to stroke and then for where it says a line stroke, we want it to be inside. All right, so now what I want to do, I actually, I think I might want to make this lighter. Maybe we'll try a white. Oops, I didn't mean that portion. I meant the foreground. And that sticks out pretty well. Or we can also experiment and try maybe a yellow. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So you, you know there may be some issues uh, if we zoom up and just take a look at this real quick. Like this stroke right here cut into the actual yellow portion, which doesn't look correct. So what I would just normally do is take the pen tool and zoom up a little bit closer. I just take the pen tool and just kind of outline this. Now, if you haven't really used the pen tool, I it can be a little bit tricky at first, but ultimately it's something that you should definitely learn uh, and depending on when you're watching this you may be able to search my channel to find a pen tool tutorial that is up to date I already do have one but it's quite old although really nothing as much has changed about it so uh, just the software but what I would do real quickly let me just finish outlining this let me go to transparency. I'm just going to turn this down so I can see underneath it. And I would just basically follow the lines and keep on going until I end up right around there and then end it right there. So then I, I turn this opacity up again and I could hide this and then I could do what I need to do to um, get rid of the one beneath it. So if we go there and we just select this color, that takes care of it. We could bring this back, hit control one, and there we go. So there's probably some other areas, but I'm not gonna really get into that. It kind of defeat the purpose of the course uh, or the, the video. So yeah, there you go. This actually looks kind of a lot like the Reese's logo. <laughs> But anyhow, I, obviously you don't want to be using this or overusing it too much, but it certainly does have its use and its relevance uh, where it makes sense, certainly. So uh, until next time, go ahead and visit designcourse.com if you haven't already and subscribe uh, to the newsletter section at the top. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, thanks. Goodbye.